Did you notice? Yeah. Did you? Just a few days ago, this garden looked so green. Yeah, it was so green. Now it's a yellowish brown. Almost all the trees have lost their leaves. Yeah, all of them without leaves. Do you know why it happens? Do you know why it happens? Do you? Do you? I'm asking you, Mouse. Do you know? Oh, um, mm, no, don't know. Well, it's because the weather has changed. From spring to summer, and now it's autumn. Oh, and then very soon it will be winter again. Now you get it. But I don't understand why the weather changes. Let's ask Professor. Professor, why does the weather change? Yes, Professor. Why? Why? Well, it's because the Earth goes round and round the sun. See, our Earth is like this ball. When the rays of the sun fall on it, some areas get more sun than the rest. Where there's more sun, the weather is hotter, summer. Where there's less sun, the regions are colder, winter. The temperature differences also make air and water move in currents and in the process, this causes slow changes to the weather. Now I see. Water! Water! I'm so thirsty! Stop! Don't drink cold water right after coming from outside. It's bad for your throat. But Professor, I'm feeling so thirsty. Drink ordinary water instead. Well, okay. Hey! Wait a minute! Why do we need to drink water at all? Hmm? Huh? Good question. Your body needs water to work properly. The blood in your body contains a lot of water too. When you play or exercise, a lot of water leaves your body by sweating and exhaling. So, you feel especially hungry after playing. Oh! <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain. Look, there are raindrops on my hand. Oh, gosh, you're right. I wonder, why does it rain? Maybe someone opens a water hose in the sky. Or maybe someone cries up there. It's none of that. Well then, what is it, Professor? Does it happen when the moon takes a bath with the stars? No, no, no. Rain comes from the clouds. Do either of you know what clouds are made of? Water? Yes. Clouds are made of tiny droplets of water. When these tiny droplets accumulate in the clouds and become too heavy, they fall to the ground as raindrops.
The gravitational force of the earth pulls them downwards and makes them fall as rain. Amazing! Do you know why lightning and thunder happen? Because giant gods fight up there with their huge weapons? <laughs> oh no, that's not the reason.